Hi there, my name is Cyrus and I'm from PAN, the Physicians Association for Nutrition. Now we all know that smoking is really bad for you. It contributes to the development of different types of cancers, it leads to addictive behavior and it also causes arterial dysfunction. This is one of the hallmarks of cardiovascular disease. Now might there be a food so powerful that it can inhibit the adverse effect that smoking has on our cardiovascular system? Let's find out in this week's study telegram. In 2014, Italian researchers published a randomized control trial investigating the effects of a single serving of blueberries on peripheral arterial dysfunction induced by acute cigarette smoking. The authors start out by saying that it's well documented how both active and passive cigarette smoke exposure induces endothelial dysfunction, an early phenomenon involved in atherosclerosis. This mechanism could be mediated by several substances in the cigarette, both particulate and gaseous, that are involved in the production of radical oxygen species. They induce oxidative stress and inflammation with detrimental consequences on the bioavailability of nitric oxide, which is the most important vasodilator produced by endothelial cells, the delicate inner lining of our blood vessels. This reduction of nitric oxide causes an increase in blood pressure and diminishes the flexibility of our arterial walls, which is one of the underlying pathophysiological mechanisms of cardiovascular disease. Well, that doesn't really sound too good. How are little blueberries supposed to do anything about this? They contain high amounts of polyphenols, such as anthocyanins, which are recognized as potential bioactive compounds able to counteract the production of radical oxygen species by reducing oxidative stress and inflammation. Moreover, anthocyanins have been proposed as mediators of nitric oxide production, thus playing a crucial role in the modulation of arterial stiffness, endothelial function, and blood pressure. As a matter of fact, recent evidence suggests a plethora of health-promoting benefits caused by anthocyanins and other polyphenols found in blueberries. Okay, so the theory is clear. Smoking causes arterial dysfunction, blueberries improve arterial function. But what does this mean in real life, in a clinical setting for both smokers and blueberry lovers alike? To figure this out, the researchers recruited 16 healthy, young, normal weight male smokers who all consumed about 15 cigarettes a day, put in around half an hour of daily physical activity and consumed up to 10 to 14 drinks of wine or beer per week. Now, where do you find such a homogenous population with these specific traits who are also willing to participate in a clinical study among students, in this case of the University of Milan? The researchers randomly assigned the volunteers to three groups. A smoking treatment, a blueberry treatment plus smoking, and a control treatment plus smoking. All participants alternatingly went through each treatment with a seven-day washout period in between so that no effects could be carried on to the next measurement. They provided the blueberry group with 300 grams of blueberries, freshly purchased, frozen and then thawed overnight, and the control group with sugar water containing the same amounts of fructose and glucose as the blueberries because it had been previously reported that sugar intake may affect endothelial function. Okay, so how did the experiment exactly work and what did the researchers measure? First, the blueberry and the sugar control group ingested their designated food and beverage respectively. A hundred minutes later, in every group, the researchers measured blood pressure and heart rate, after which the participants smoked one cigarette. Five minutes later, blood pressure and heart rate were measured once more, and 15 minutes later, so 120 minutes after the ingestion of the blueberries or the sugar water, the researchers assessed arterial stiffness and reactive hyperemia. Now, reactive hyperemia is a measure for peripheral arterial function, and it works like this. When you pump up a blood pressure cuff about 60 millimeters of mercury above systolic blood pressure, 
Keep the pressure on for about five minutes and then deflate the cuff. Blood flow to the extremity increases and reaches a higher level than before. And this is called reactive hyperemia because the body produces increased blood flow as a reaction to it previously being cut off. This process is mediated by vasodilation and in this study it was measured using the Endopat 2000. Now if you're interested in the specifics of how the measurement works, you can find a link to an explanatory video in the description box below. Okay, so they let people smoke. Some of them ate blueberries, some of them drank sugar water. Now what happened? Were the blueberries actually able to counteract some of the crippling effects on our arteries that comes from smoking a cigarette? Yes, after smoking just a single cigarette, arterial function dropped by about 25%. Sugar water seemed to help a bit. But by eating blueberries first, arterial function almost stayed the same, dropping only by about 6%. Similar effects were observed for systolic blood pressure, which increased by about 13% after smoking the cigarette. The same for sugar water, but increased only by about 8% after eating some delicious blueberries. The authors propose that this effect occurs mainly due to the anthocyanins in the blueberries, the protective phytochemicals that give the blueberries their dark blue color. So how about just using an anthocyanin extract? Apparently it doesn't work. Two dietary intervention studies that reported a four-week consumption of an anthocyanin-rich extract did not reduce the levels of blood pressure in healthy and prehypertensive men. The authors conclude that blueberries may prevent peripheral arterial dysfunction induced by acute cigarette smoking in young volunteers. However, these remarkable findings are no invitation to just keep on smoking. Preventing health consequences due to smoking, the authors say, can only be realized by smoking cessation or prevention. Finally, let's have a look at the bigger picture. Why are these study findings important? Well, cardiovascular disease, which is characterized by arterial dysfunction, has been our number one killer globally for decades now. And hypertension alone significantly increases the risk for conditions like heart and kidney failure or stroke, and is thus a major cause of premature death worldwide. Frozen blueberries, like the ones used in this study, are widely available all year round and they're not only health promoting and side effect free, but if you ask me, they're also quite delicious. Now if you like this study telegram and would like to learn more about the power of nutrition in the prevention, the treatment and the reversal of disease, by the way including some more really fascinating long-term blueberry studies, Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay tuned for regular evidence-based content. Until then, I wish you good health and happiness.